Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Debbie Long. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to start involving some names from over there on Facebook for these video shout outs as well. So, we are going to dive into, okay, a topic, and we also want to give a thank you to Peachy for inspiring this, because it's a very common thing that a lot of survivors go through when you're know, being faced, okay, when you're faced to have to somewhat deal with a narcissistic abuser, okay, when you, yeah, and, yeah, I had to block the sun, y'all, okay, so if you're looking at this going, wait, what, don't let that distract you, but the sun was, like, right on, on here, so, anyhow, that's, take care of that, um, anyhow, when you are, be it family, workplace, whatever it is, okay, and so, it's all about when we want to confront the narcissistic abuser, but the Holy Spirit says no. All right, this is a big one. All right, yes, and it unfortunately happened to all of us, okay? Every single one of us has gone through this until we learn to go, you know what? It's not worth it. All right, so we're going to dive more in detail about that here in just a second. But I have a couple of things for you all. Yes, remember, it's all about keeping y'all in the loop. What, what, What's going on, what we are working on and everything. And right now, we finally got something solidified. Yep, we got the event. We got the a little shelter at a park. We've got that booked. Okay, it's, it's ours. And so, we are going to be holding an in-person local meet and greet the author. That would be me. Uh, and also, it's part of our one-year anniversary celebration for Consulting for Heightened Awareness. And I'm so excited. I'm going to put the ad out across all social media. Uh, and then also, some uh, team members behind the scenes are going to do with it, what they're going to do with it, so that way everybody has enough time, because it's for May 21st, okay, that would be about a month from now, and so we want to give everybody time, because admission is free, there's going to be some, you know, small refreshments and some water, and it's a BYOS, which means bring your own soda, all right, we're going to have a raffle, Oh, yeah, we're going to have a raffle for a free copy of my signed book, Real Event in Narcissistic Abuse. And I'm also going to hold one for the online community as well. So, for those of y'all who are not able to make it, here's what we're going to do. And on this video, this video right here, down in the comments below, if you would like to be entered into the raffle... Uh, for May 21st, because I, I've have I got a copy for the in-person raffle, and then I'll have a copy that I will send to the lucky winner of the online raffle. So I wanted to include everybody in the one-year anniversary celebration and the meet and greet and all of that. Okay, so we're gonna make it to where you know, I don't want y'all to miss out. We uh, we we appreciate you all. Very, very much. Okay, we do. And so we've got a lot of things, you know, we're going to do. And I'm also going to include the presentation on this channel for you all as well. You know, because I'm also going to present it live at the event. But I also want to make it available to see see how we're doing that, okay? In person and online. Because I know there's going to be some of y'all that might not be able to make it. But we want to make sure that you're included as well. Uh, so there's that. So drop it in the comments below if you would like to be entered into the raffle for the free copy of a signed, a signed copy of my book. Okay? Just say, enter me. All right? And I'll have your, your channel name, whatever... Uh, whatever title you're going by, I'll have that, and I will write it down and add it to the email subscriber list as well, because I know some of y'all are also subscribed to the email, and so what will happen is, you know, you probably want to shoot me an email, though, too, okay, because that, well, if I call your name, whatever, we'll figure that out when we get there, because I'll need your address, obviously, to send it to you, and so it's a lot of other things, but the in-person event, we've got our pens here 
with our Consulting for Heightened Awareness and the website address on there. We're going to have some of those to pass out, business cards, and the one one promo, uh, the one sheet promotional for the book, all kinds of stuff that we're going to be doing. And it's from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at Granite Lake Park. I'll, again, I'll be posting the details, so you might keep an eye out for that. I'll post it in the community tab here on Quora, on Facebook, Instagram. That's just one of those things that will get posted across all the social media that we're on. That way you all can, you know, figure out whatever, you, however you're going to do it. But if you can't make it, that's fine. Just know, like I said before, we're going to do some online fun stuff too. All right? That way everybody is included. Because, yes, May, May 17th is the actual one-year anniversary launch, okay, from when we launched the website. So, but we're going to hold it on, on Saturday, May 21st. You know, we got that free promo. You know, not free promo. It's a sale promo. Forgive me. That sale, 20% off selected items going on right now as the preliminary. Because this is the time, like I said in the previous video, that I was designing the website. All of this was start to unfold and everything like that. And then all through the summer and into the fall. <laughs> I mean, this is just one. This whole season is full of one-year anniversaries, <laughs> Right after the other, so we're gonna that we're gonna have that sale going on for the majority of the part. Twenty percent off. It's gonna go on through the whole anniversary thing, and then when we do the one year anniversary of the Patreon channel, you know that's you know, we'll probably do some similar stuff. But I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know how, how we're gonna handle that. But it's just back to back, and I decided, you know what? <laughs> Let's just, the, the whole season, all right? Anyway, so that's that. And then I also want to clarify something for everyone real quick. I know, just hang in there. We're going to get to the topic, but i got to get this out here because, like I said, for on Facebook, if you send me a friend request and I accept it, what I won't do is if somebody sends me a friend request and I go to their profile, like this one dude, I went to the profile and it was right there. They're looking for a quote unquote mistress. I'm not going to accept that. Oh, no, no, no. After all, what did we just deal with? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. We deal with some subtle love bombs from several others. We had to put our foot down again. See, that's also part of being bold, y'all. All right. That's just another part of being bold. We were not mean about it. We were just, that's it. Put our foot down. Said, so, no. No means no. So, sometimes we have to, you know, you got to let the enemy know that I'm not, no, we're not playing. That's all part of it. Because I know there's a lot of spiritual attack going on right now. And it's an ongoing thing, though. But for some of y'all, it's probably a little more ramped up than it, you know, would normally be. Because we all go through those seasons. But it's always going to happen right before God's about to do something big in your life. So never forget that. So it's like part of that change, that thinking. All right, so that like if, if you get some of those, I call them snakes in your DM trying to love bomb or whatever. And if they're doing that, like, and that was several, okay, over the span of the weekend. And so it was just like, okay, so that's how the enemy is trying to, yep, trying to test so we're going to point out another quick clarification and a difference between, because there's a lot of people that know, you know, like they say, you know, well, God will test you. Yeah, well, he doesn't test you in the way that most people would interpret a test. All right, the devil, the enemy, just like the narcissistic abusers are the ones who test people. All right, they're the ones who test people to see if they got boundaries, to see if their shenanigans will work, to see if they'll get, you know, if they'll get easily annoyed. Well, see, that's what the devil's doing right now with, this, with these love bombs, trying to see if they'll work again. And as I said, no, they don't work on, no, they don't work on chosen empaths, super empaths. All right, they, it doesn't work anymore because we can see through it. You know, so if you, a, a complete stranger, send you a DM and it just flat out, it says, you know, anything like, hello, beautiful, hi, pretty lady, stuff like that. It's like, mm -mm -mm, no, no, uh -uh. that's not, that's not a normal way to greet somebody. That's, that's just, yeah, that's a clear reference. Okay, yeah, I know, fellow warrior. <laughs> Thanks for the good chuckle in the email, though, about that. It said some, some who actually like to hear those words because they like their ego stroke probably were muttering under their breath, and we don't care. That's on them, okay? If they're still at that, if they're still in that season of life, and that's what they want to do, and, and, and they need their ego stroke, well, that, that, yeah, that, that, we ain't got nothing to do with them. All right, that's just... <laughs> 
<laughs> but it well I was yeah very true probably and but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's like what you know it it, it what that's why we say in our house we serve the Lord not man all right but we are serving God chosen all right by helping them helping them overcome things stuff like that encouraging uplifting and all of that okay so there is a different all right because serving you know serving man flesh Okay, that's people pleasing. That's not what we're doing here. Because y'all know by now, I'm going to come out and give y'all some spiritual truths that some of y'all probably don't want to hear. <laughs> okay, let's, hey, but that is what it is. And sometimes, hey, we all had to go through that with people that were, you know, wiser and, you know, more aware and things like that. Had to give it to us. We didn't like to hear the truth, but later on we found out they were right. Okay, and so that's just the way it is. So we're going to, you know, let that be known. But there is a difference. The devil the one that will try the testing. God will test the spirit. Okay. That's what he means by when, when a lot of people mean. And so I wanted to clarify that for y'all because there's a difference. You know, it's God versus the devil in the spiritual battle. Bottom line. So God will test the spirit. That's why he tells us to test the spirit. Okay. Well, to test the spirit. Uh-huh. But the devil will test the flesh. There's your big difference. There. All right. So, when you want to confront a narcissistic abuser and the Holy Spirit said no. Well, it's very... Think of it like this. All right. Yeah. Let's drop this in the comments below too because many of us have been here. Oh, boy. Many of us have been here. Somebody will leave a comment, right? And it's like, we want to write... We, wanna, we want to respond, but then the Holy Spirit... And we start to type it, right? We start typing... All right, what we'd like to respond, and then the Holy Spirit says, nope, erase. <laughs> okay, yeah, so just put, yeah, just put, nope, yeah, yeah, just, you know what, drop this, say, yeah, the Holy Spirit said erase. Okay, put that in the comments below. The Holy Spirit said erase, because <laughs> many of us have been there. So for those of y'all, <laughs> don't beat yourself up, all right, it happens to all of us. Especially when we get something that, you know, some that word salad and uh, we learn to ignore it. Okay, everyone, that's the big thing. You learn to ignore it and then we block, delete, whatever it is that we know we need to do to keep the garbage out. And that's a big part of it. So it's like, because anytime, you know, you feel like you want to confront that the abuser, the Holy Spirit, oftentimes does. Whether whether you're aware of it or not, it it always going to be the Holy Spirit because if you find yourself going, not a good idea. That's the Holy Spirit telling you, okay. So you you're always going to make the right choice when you listen to that intuition and you listen to God, okay. Because a lot of things out there that these drama chaos causers, that's that's what they want. Okay, they want to provoke, they want you to confront them. Think about it like this, okay, the reason, okay, that pull is so strong to want to, especially when you discover that a person you didn't know before is an actual narcissistic abuser, but you didn't see it before, that happens a lot in the spiritual awakening, Oh, yes, it does. That's another thing that have to start to see it on people that you never would have, it just, you didn't know it was there. And so when that happens and you feel like you want to confront them, like I shared in the previous video, it depends on the situation and it depends on, it's like that little video that I had shared with one that's got the demon of criticism and I just basically put my foot down being bold but calm and rational. I didn't yell. I want you know our our voice, our tone may be interpreted as yelling when we're when we're bold, but we're not. We do we speak with conviction. Alright, that's what the being bold part is. You speak with conviction. And I told them stop criticizing because this is not for you. As it's just that bold and that firmness. And they have to back off. Okay, they have to. The enemy has to back off. That's all part of telling Satan to get behind us. All right, that's the bottom line. That's part of being bold also. So we got a little combination thing going on because sometimes you will have to, I wouldn't say confront, but you will have to point something like something like that. But let your discernment, you know, ask God. Okay, let the Holy Spirit do it. Okay, because that way, you it, that's where the power comes from to do that. 
All right, and then that way, because remember, the enemy is always lurking nearby to see if you're going to use that power and authority, okay, to see if you're going to be bold, all right, to see if you're going to say, hey, you know what, no, not going to put up with this, that kind of stuff. So you always want to really, you know, sometimes you have to step back and, and do a little bit of an analysis of the situation and let God talk to God, always, always, always. That's why I was so big about that, turning to God first and saying, okay, you know what, because it's like you'll know. All right, depending on the situation. So, like, for example, in, in the workplace, all right, when you spot narcissistic abusers and they're pulling little shenanigans, like, telling you, oh, I'll, I'll do that here in just a minute, and then they never, they turn around and they don't do it, and they're waiting to, yeah, because they want you to confront them. They want you to chase them. All right, that's a big part of it. That's why, that's a big part of why that spiritual energy transfer is so strong, and it makes you want to confront like, that is just, mm, you, <laughs> you know, like, you want to, but then the Holy Spirit's like, not a good idea. <laughs> and so that's exactly how you, you just, you don't even, don't give them what they want. That's the bottom line. It's all about, it's part of learning how to starve them of that emotional supply that they're looking for. Like, they want to see if they can get you rattled up. They want to see, because, and then not only that, they want to turn it around on you. All right, so if you were, let's stop and think logically. We've all done this, okay? But we learned. We've all done this, but we confronted them, right? But it is before we even knew that they were a narcissistic abuser, okay? Let's just think back, because we have to remember what happened. <laughs> okay, yes, what did they do? It, it, whatever, depending on what it is you were, uh, we confronted them with in the, you know, previously, we would, you know, they would turn it around and start an argument, all right, they would try to start an argument, they would deny, 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 lie, okay, and then lie some more, and then lie some more to cover up that lie, to cover up the other lie, <laughs> it's something we pick up on real quick, these people, Ooh, yeah, these narcissistic abusers, man, whew, the epitome of that, Ugh, like a hamster, you know, spinning on the wheel, uh, running on the wheel, yeah, lie after lie after lie, and then eventually they run out because they forget. <laughs> oh, they do. Eventually. But, bottom line, confronting them, we learn the hard way. It is just not even worth it. That's part of when we know to walk away because we already realize what they're looking for. All right, they want you to confront them for a number of reasons. So if y'all can think of any other reason besides that st want to start an argument and then try to induce that cognitive dissonance by denying it and lying, okay? Trying to make you second guess. Wait a minute. Well, wait, wait. I might be, wait, am I wrong? Or did I really, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Try to make you think to second guess whether you saw what you saw or heard what you heard. Things like that. That's another reason why they want you to confront them. And then also... You know, just to see if they can get you rattled up. So those are the top three I can come up with right off the top of my head. So let's share some additional one reasons why they would want you to confront them. Okay, and let's let's put that in the comments below also, so everybody else can kind of oh yeah and help. Hey, look, we're helping people connect dots here. That's all part of the healing process and getting further along that spiritual awakening together. This is a journey. Oh yeah, it's a journey. It's a great one. And so, you know, but the Holy Spirit, yep, will always intervene. Always intervene and say, not a good idea. And, you know, the Holy Spirit will say no in several different ways and remind us that, you know what, this is not even worth our time or our energy. Oh, there's a big one right there. All right, see, anytime you confront a narcissistic abuser, what are you doing? Yes, you're going to be exchanging that spiritual energy transfer through... Yes, all right, and so when you when that happens, then it's going to drain the empath of their energy. It's like I've said, oh gosh, in several other videos about how when you identify narcissistic abusers in the workplace and how to protect your energy, because uh, <laughs> look, y'all, that's what you will. If you are not there yet, just hang in there because you're going to get there. You're going to get to a point where it's like, you know what, screw all of that. I, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to protect my energy and that inner peace. It's like I say, oh, that's big. Because by protecting your energy, you are protecting your inner peace. You're protecting the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Remember the kingdom of God, where it's at, right? Yes. 
so everybody just know that and so you you will do whatever you can and part of protecting that is by not confronting the narcissistic abuser and so in a big way see that's how god protects us also you know, you've got that Holy Spirit telling us, like, mm, that's God speaking. <laughs> like, mm, not a good idea. So that's just another way that God protects us, no matter what. Because, it, you know, again, it's all about learning. So, yeah, we don't want y'all to beat yourself up if you hadn't got there yet. But you will. You will. It takes, oh, boy. It, oh, gosh, a lot of us can attest to how long and how many times we found ourselves you know, uh, I guess you could say, I wouldn't, list, I don't want to call it yelling matches, but yeah, some of us ended up getting tricked into doing that, that reactive abuse, all of that. Oh, if, oh, there would be another reason they want you to confront them. Uh-huh, to, to poke and prod and try to get you to engage in that reactive abuse so they can turn around and point the finger and call you the abuser. Oh, Ed, that is so common. Okay, so just all those are your that's your food for thought on all of that and some really good reasons why not to confront the narcissistic abuser. And a lot of us and uh, here we go, number five. All right, is because they'll call if you were to let them know, let's say you wanted to confront them and say, Hey, you know what? I know you're a narcissistic abuser. They're gonna turn right around and call you the narcissistic abuser. All right, that's bottom line right there too. So uh uh. It's like, you know who you are in Christ. You know that you are not going out there to try and intentionally hurt anybody. You know that. So, just, you know, and you've got the empathy. So, yeah, that's it. So, you know. You've got the empathy. You've got the compassion. Shows an empath. That's what, that's what it's all about. Yes. So, you know, we'll, we'll break it down a little bit more on, you know, how God's chosen ones are the very chosen empath we're speaking about. Okay, because there's some clarification that needs to be done on that. But we're going to save that for the next video. And, as always, for additional information, encouragement, everything, you can check out these videos right here. As always, sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.